me lately? Well, I've been exercising at home. And in fact, call me while I was just getting in my daily workout. Why is this so heavy, huh? Anyway, look at the time. I think it's almost time to close. That was so tiring. I'm going to reward myself with a giant bowl of syrup. I will make you some social distance in the fridge. You will need to just one minute. Mommy, it was high intensity, okay? Anyway, I can't wait to replenish my body with all these nutrients. Hey, it says here that there is 16 milligrams of iron in this thing. I know iron is magnetic. Does that mean that my cereal is magnetic? Hmm. Is there any way that I can prove that there's iron in there by extracting it out of the cereal? Try this out with me. All you'll need are some fortified cereal, a meat hammer, cups and bowls, a sieve, and a strong magnet. Hey, where did my magnet go? Oh, sorry. Here they are. First of all, measure out around one cup of cereal. Next, pour a little bit into the bowl and use the meat hammer to smash it into fine crumbs. Pour the crumbs into a sieve and collect the powder in a bowl. Then, repeat this for the rest of the cereal you have measured out. Now add some water to the powder and stir! Now, we're gonna send in our magnet to pick up the iron. Gently drop it into the mixture and give it a good stir. Next, fish out the magnet and you'll see some cereal on it. Dab it dry with a tissue paper and you'll see some black powder stuck to it. What do you think those are? Ding ding! It's the iron of course! And there, you successfully extracted the iron in your breakfast cereal. Why does this work? I like foods that naturally contain iron, such as spinach or meat. Fortified cereals have minerals added to them, such as iron flakes. That's why we're able to separate and extract them like this. But why add iron to our foods? Well, iron is an essential mineral in our bodies. Our red blood cells, which contain hemoglobin, helps to transport oxygen around our bodies, especially when we are exercising. Well, iron is a central component of that hemoglobin. Some people with iron deficiencies don't have enough red blood cells, and thus they have anemia. Hence, they would have to eat more foods that are rich in iron, or take iron supplements. Anyway, these zero crumbs don't have to go to waste, you can use them to bake conflict cookies or simply eat them like this. Mmm, yum! Don't you love it when you can eat your own experiments? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Science O'Clock. Don't forget to tag us in your photos and videos if you do try this experiment out. Have fun experimenting and see you guys on the next episode of Science O'Clock! Bye-bye!